Hi guys, um, so I just wanted to put a video out where I was pulling some cards for the new year. Um, I really wanted to do that, <laughs> but I just haven't had a time, had a, ha haven't had a chance to post a video. Um, I also wanted to say that I know a lot of people are doing the 31 Days of Tarot Challenge, and I really, really, really want to take part in this. Um, but at this moment, it's a little bit difficult for me to, you know, sit down and film whenever I'd like. So, um, I am planning on, I'm putting aside the 31 days of tarot challenge to do it at another time. So I'm hoping that's okay. Like I'm hoping that that, you know, aligns with the rules and whatnot. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's no, no one's going to oppose to that. <laughs> But I just wanted to put it out there that um, I did do the 31 Days of Tarot Challenge. I think it was like two or three years ago. Um, and I have it in my playlist. So if you're curious, you can, you know, check out the playlist. Um, but I do want to do this one. This is the one from this year. So that may be popping up later in the year or, um, or whatnot. And when I have the time to actually film and, you know, the freedom to do so. But... Um, I, it's a little bit out of the way for me right now, but I do want to do it because I've been watching some of you guys, um, posting your videos and it's really, it's really inspiring. So mine will be coming. They just won't be this month, <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to pull cards for the new year because, um, I don't know. I, I was thinking about like what kind of a... Like, what word do I want for, to represent 2018? Like, what is going to be my, um, my prompt, my word, my, my inspiration? And I know one year I would, ch I actually for two years I chose a card to represent my year. Um, and I really didn't focus much on that this time around. And I really just have the feeling, and I keep coming back to the word conclusions, closure, um, endings, finality. And I really, in, in my heart, I really feel like 2018 for me personally is going to be the year of conclusions and the year of getting um, answers. I feel like it's going to be like that for a lot of my clients as well. Um, but for me particularly, um, I've had a lot of open-ended um, projects <laughs> and um, one of them you know in, in major goals and one of them being um, you know putting money away and been paying off a lot of debt so my husband and I are maybe 75% done and it's really exciting um, and we hope to start house hunting in June um, if not you know, maybe earlier, maybe a little bit later. It just depends. But I really, really, really hope that we find something by the end of this year. Um, house hunting can be difficult. It could be, but it could also go smoothly. It just depends. Um, we have never owned our own home, so this will be our first time. But I am really anxious to kind of see what happens with that. And I just, my intuition is just telling me that this is the year that I'm going to get a lot of closure. I'm going to get a lot of answers and, and seek pretty much see the ending to a lot of the projects or the goals that I've been setting for myself. Um, so, you know, getting a home for us will be huge because Cackling Moon will have a location and I will be able to bring my in-person clients to my home to read for them. And, you know, the ones that I trust and the ones that I are, that I've built relationships with, you know, um, <laughs> I won't have to meet up at local places anymore, you know, at least for the ones that I've been having multiple times. Um, so it's big, you know, I really want my own space. I want my own reading space. I want my own place where I could teach some classes and, you know, have meditations and stuff. So <clears throat> there's a lot of goals that I have for Cackling Moon, but it really requires a home, um, so I'm just really excited because I feel like this is going to be the year. So lots going on, that's for sure. Um, but let's pull for the year. Of course, there's that high priestess. 
Okay, so um, by the way, I'm using the Universe Has Your Back Oracle, and then also the Wild Unknown, but everyone, I think everyone knows the Wild Unknown Tarot, that's for sure. <laughs> um, okay, so at the core, we got my outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. This is big. Um, this is actually really big to me because the way that I... Um, put out my energy is is it is reflecting what it is within me so I see that as kind of like a, a little tip for me um, especially when I'm feeling rather emotional or um, like the need to express sometimes I have to put myself in check with that because um, my self-expression isn't always um, it's not always understood by some people and I'm very emotional at times, so <laughs> that makes sense. Um, my outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. I love that. And I love that the fact that there's a big old moon. Anytime I see moons coming up in my, in my cards, it just makes me smile because um, of the cackling moon. And, you know, the moon represents a lot for me personally and spiritually and business-wise. Um, right below that, we have Son of Pentacles. <clears throat> um, the Sun of Pentacles is to me kind of like that guiding light that I'm still learning. I am still growing. My business is still growing. My path is new. It's fresh. It's youthful. Um, I also just, you know, there's just a lot of little personal dreams and whatnot. I don't want to go too personal with the reading, but, um, that's very significant for me as well, personally wise, but I won't dive into that. I don't want to, I don't want to get too personal. Um, and judgment and the eight of pentacle on either side <clears throat> I do vis visualize myself as the spider um, especially when it comes to like the community that I um, that I work with um, with my readings and you know putting myself out there I feel like we all kind of have that spider um, persona where we are you know we're all searching and we're all putting out you know little carrots for people to grab and bite onto and it's like if someone resonates with me and what my readings are and what, what kind of readings I do and how I read you know I'm gonna get my followers I'm gonna get my my client base that way um, so it's just kind of like building the web but I also see this as a sign of community I feel like this is going to be a year of growth community wise for me, you know, really re branching out. I have some goals in mind for the year to do meetups. I really, really want to do local meetups to meet some of you guys and, <clears throat> you know, we can have a big old tarot fest or <laughs> just kind of things like that. So um, the spider is definitely to me, it's like reaching out to other readers um, within local leaf with me and we just get together and create something big so I see that definitely in the work especially in the near future the judgment card as always is that that spiritual calling that I'll be having throughout this year my spirituality has been growing but I do feel like it's kind of taken a little bit of a step back um, as I focus more on the business side of what I do um, I'm not you know I'm not attending certain classes or the meditations, um, the, the public meditations in the shop when I was like I was before a few months back. So I do feel like my spirituality has kind of taken a little bit of a pause, which is okay. Um, but the fact that the judgment card is coming up is really guiding me to show that um, it's going to pick up. It's going to pick up again. So that's good. I love that the eight of wands popped up, but the, the, <laughs> the depiction on this card um, is really kind of showing like the power, you know, everything's coming together. And I feel like this, this wand, how it's like, um, it kind of resembles a lightning bolt, but it's completing the circle. I see that here with the web too. It's like the cycle, the circle, it's completion. Uh, like I said, my feeling for 2018 for me personally will be conclusions, completion, the finality. Um, I see that. I see that the piece, the missing piece will be planted, um, so that's a cool thing. And it is an eight of wands, which eight of wands typically is about, um, you know, fast forward, um, forward goal oriented, future oriented movement. Um, it's a green light. It is, you know, the card that's saying to go for it, do it, die for it, um, and be motivated. So I love this. I love that. I think that it's showing a lot of finality. And then of course the high priestess. Um, High Priestess is definitely the card that 
She inspired me on my path when I first started learning tarot, and I love that she popped up for the 2018 because it just <laughs> it just says a lot. It just shows that, you know, I'm I'm doing my purpose. I am honoring my purpose. Sometimes I have to be careful with the way I express what's within. Um, you know, as a Cancer moon, I tend to be very emotional and vocal about my emotions. So sometimes it's best just to not say anything at all. Um, but I love it. I think that it's going to be a very good year. Um, maybe this will mean a baby later on in the, in the year, perhaps. That's, that's the personal aspect I was seeing the Seven of Pentacles as. Um, so really good, really good cards. Um, I do feel like this is the year, though, I should be reaching out to the community more in terms of um, reaching out in the community in terms of make, setting up um, meetups and whatnot where we could all get together and talk and meet and hang out. So thank you guys for watching, and um, I wish you guys all have a beautiful year. Comment below. Let, let me know how your year has been going and what your um, personal readings have been coming up as. I would love to hear it all. Thanks, guys.